Nvidia released a brand new app which lets you check your system latency to see exactly how much input delay you have in Fortnite and also check after tweaks how much it helped and a whole entire new section of performance settings which I'm about to show you as well as a custom colorblind mode which you can create for any game. So guys and here we are right now in the brand new Nvidia app and first of all on the home screen it's gonna give you a bunch of commercials everything was like new you know we can see GeForce now and all of that then under drivers we can of course see the latest versions where well, I have one which I have to actually get after this video I just realized that there's brand new one since five days okay you can also see what's pretty cool is now what's new and what's fixed actually like they made this really user friendly this is insane guys like they connect the geforce experience with the nvidia control panel and they just made it look amazing now next up we have graphics guys and this is now what gets really interesting you can see we first of all have all the in-game settings where we again can click here and optimize to select automatically the lowest settings for fortnite or the best quality ones but once we actually scroll down guys this is the most important part we first of all have rtx dynamic vibrant which is a new insane feature which is actually letting us create our own custom colorblind mode you can see guys once you actually enable this feature you have now the intensity and saturation boost for me i played around with it a little bit and figured out in intensity on 75 and saturation boost on 35 are the best you can try this out yourself but you could even crank it all the way up to 100 guys but then becomes really really colorful so therefore you get a note for yourself i'm gonna apply my normal settings then we have of course all of the other ones which i want to go through real quick cuda gpus of course just simply leave it on the GPU which you're using mainly if you have maybe integrated graphics on top, DSR factors on off, image scaling, pretty cool feature for other games besides Fortnite. If you're maybe playing something like Ready or Not, Rust, all of these, you can use it guys, but for CS it's always a little bit better to just work around with the 3D in-game settings and a stretch resolution. Then next up guys, we have the low latency mode and this one guys, I always keep on on. You can try out one of those here on our Ultra, but for me personally, on works the best. Then maximum frame rate, here you can set like a frame rate limiter if you maybe have overheat issues with your PC. Let's just say that you're barely hitting around something like 144 FPS. You can actually lock it maybe to something like 160, you know, just to make sure that in these situations where it goes a little bit up, when you may be on a part of the map where there aren't as many enemies, that your PC is not producing too many frames which are actually gonna overheat your PC. So therefore lock it around 10 to 20 FPS over your refresh rate. The next up for the power management mode guys, we're gonna of course click under prefer maximum performance. Vertical sync turn off unless you are on 60 or 75 hertz, that can actually help. And for virtual reality, keep it on off. And what's really cool is you can apply it for every single game specifically guys. Like these do not actually transfer over unless you go under global settings and there you can set it up. We have also by the way something like shader cache size which I would actually recommend you to put to 10 gigs guys. But what's now the actual new feature with this is that we can control the latency of our system. First of all they overwork completely everything from like recording, instant replay, screenshots, highlights and all of that. Which by the way work way better now these highlights. Like you can select here Fortnite actually you know just go here under a small arrow and then you can see like eliminations or multi eliminations and all of that you can also configure the complete quality of everything like you can even now put your clips on 120 fps guys this is gonna be a huge game changer for people who record montages like that's actually insane i'm gonna try this out actually here for a while now and then you can see in-game resolution and 120 fps but what's the most important one is of course guys statistics because in here now, you can basically see, first of all, your frame rate, GPU utilization, GPU temperature, GPU clock, voltage, and all of that. But once we go under view all, we can also see now under latency, the PC render latency. And you can see it here on the top, guys, that for me, my render latency is, of course, not detected as of right now, since I'm not in-game. You can also check the average PC latency, render monitor position, something like mouse latency, average mouse latency, PC and display latency, and system latency. The most important one is, of course, the render latency, guys. So now we're going to actually here launch Fortnite real quick and I see you guys just in a second in game. Moneymaker, Asian Jeff and many other pros are also utilizing this tool which is called GR Booster which is allowing them to get super low ping in Fortnite guys. You can try it out for absolutely free with the link in the description. Even Mero the FNCS winner is using it and it helped me to get only 7 milliseconds of latency in Fortnite which is already an improvement of 60% guys and with the brand new adaptive intelligent routing guys the GR Booster is basically in the background always going to search for the best DNS server while you're gaming ensuring that you have the least amount of ping. You can try it out for absolutely free with the link in the description so guys and even while being here in the in-game lobby with a hundred players i get under one millisecond i've seen a spike to like 1.9 at some point when i was loading in but now once i'm actually here guys you can see damn so guys here we are right now in a major poy taking a look there 1.2 milliseconds 2.1 your render latency is the most important factor to how smooth basically your game feels like and if you guys want to know how i achieve such low render latency make sure that you watch my latest video where i'm going to explain this step by step it's definitely worth it if you want to take comps seriously 